My dearest soul, I, your celestial guardian, am here today with a message of utmost importance. It is a message that I urge you to heed with all your being, for it holds the potential to transform your life in ways you can scarcely imagine. This message is not to be taken lightly, nor is it to be cast aside. It is a divine directive that carries the weight of the heavens. Like this video if you have a belief in God. I know that you may be tempted to dismiss this as mere coincidence or wishful thinking, but I assure you that it is not. Your angels are always present, guiding and protecting you, and they have deemed this message to be of paramount significance for your journey. It is a message that has been specifically tailored to your individual needs and circumstances, and it contains the wisdom and guidance you need to navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. I understand that you may be busy or overwhelmed, but I implore you to make time for this message. It is a gift from the heavens and it holds the potential to unlock your true potential and bring you closer to your divine purpose. Embrace it with an open heart and an open mind, and allow the transformative energy of the angels to fill your being. Know that you are loved, guided, and protected every step of the way. Tide pay men, and share it with three people if you affirm. September feels like a supernatural month. September feels like a month of birthing the promise. September feels like the month to finally receive what was once held back. September will birth in the light what was held back in the dark. It's about to get supernatural as the winds of change caress September. His presence is evident. Won't he do it? God is saying to you today, God is shifting things for you and your family. Don't spend another night worrying about the who, what, when and how. That's God's job, not yours. He works the midnight shift and angels have been assigned to your case. Get some rest while this plays out. Trust me. I am going to take you from obscurity to notoriety. You've worked hard, you've been faithful, you've honored me, now get ready, the curtain is about to come up, I am about to show people who you really are. You are coming into a new level of prominence, a new level of influence, and a new level of income. I am going to endorse you. People are going to see the greatness I put in you. I am going to open doors for you that have been locked for a long time. Suddenly, miracles will happen in your life. Healing and restoration are being released. Your greatest days of productivity and prosperity are on the horizon. God is saying to you today, Get ready. I am going to surprise you. I have already spoken to the right people. I have already lined up the healing, the freedom, and the promotion. It's going to happen suddenly, when you didn't see it coming. I saw what they did to you. I felt you dealing with it in silence and hurt. I watched how they hated and tried to destroy you. I know it all. But I kept you and watched over you. I have prepared a table in the presence of your enemies. This is your season for blessings, favor and breakthroughs. Type, I believe in myself. To affirm, this is a new day. I am doing a new thing. I am going to exceed your expectations. I am going to do things that you've never imagined. It's your time to be free. It's your time to step into new levels. Everything that's holding you back is being broken right now. This is the sign you've been praying for. Everything is going to work out in your life. 
Your health, finances, relationships, and family are in God's hands. He is making a way for you right now. God will give you a testimony this week. Do not go backwards. That is what the enemy wants you to do. Your future will be greater than your past. Your past was just preparation for your future. I am with you. Keep moving forward. Things are better for you up ahead. I love you. God is saying to you today, yes, it's handled. I have already worked it out and the victory is yours, my child. Now walk with confidence and don't let anyone drag you down. Sweet child, my people need to see your trust in me. Open up your heart and let my light shine to this world. Don't stress in the middle of your test. You will bounce back and receive everything you've been waiting and praying for. God will come through for you. Rest in me. I am already at work in your life. I will turn around every bad situation in your life. I will bless you and your family and I will heal what needs to be healed. In this journey, there will be moments of joy and moments of challenge. Embrace both with gratitude, for it is through the challenges that you will grow stronger and wiser, and through the moments of joy that you will experience the fullness of my love and grace. My timing is perfect. You're going to be surprised very soon at how things will work out. You'll realize that your current situation was only leading you to a blessing. Trust me with all your heart. Blessings are on the way. Type yes. If you agree, God is saying to you today, you're entering a new season where everything will start to go your way. It's time. You had enough lessons. You did the work. You overcame so much. You believed even when it was hard to. You never gave up. You pushed through it all. Now it's your time to receive my blessings in a major way. Prepare yourself. Your blessing is coming sooner than you expect. In an instant, one call, one opportunity, and everything will change. I will open doors for you. Trust in me. I love you. Do not be discouraged by setbacks or failures. In me, there is always a path to redemption and restoration. I am the God of new beginnings, and I can turn even the most broken situations into something beautiful. Trust in my ability to bring beauty from ashes. I have armed you with strength for every battle. No weapon formed against you will ever prosper. You haven't seen, heard, or imagined the amazing things I have in store for you and your family. Believe today that things are changing in your favor. I have blessed and protected you in the past and I will do it again in the future. Stop rushing God knows when is the best time to answer your prayers. If you're in the season of waiting, keep seeking Him. Delight yourself in the Lord and watch how you'll no longer be just waiting but also moving by faith fulfilled in His presence, surrendered in His perfect will. Unlock the billionaire's secret to attracting wealth. New research reveals that wealth DNA is the key to prosperity. For most, this DNA is dormant, but it's active in the wealthy. Struggling with bills and debt? It might not be your fault. This specific DNA needs activation, a simple process verified by NASA researchers. Experts claim you need to work harder but science disagrees. Heavenly Father, as we rise to the start of a new day, our hearts are filled with your unmistakable peace. 
We can honestly say that you are a loving and faithful God. Your word assures us that because of your love for us, you're at work in all things in our lives, and for that we are thankful. We know it is you who arms us with strength and keeps us safe in this troubled world we're living in. Again today, I want to pray for all of my Instagram friends and family. I ask that you would take away any fear or anxiety they may be experiencing and replace it with your peace. Bless all of your people financially, physically, and above all spiritually today, as the Holy Spirit continues to lead our way. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Type 555 To affirm So God tells you don't be unequally yoked, and you decide to regardless, now what? Marry them and force them to read a Bible plan with you. Have sex outside of marriage and then keep crying to God for forgiveness over something you won't turn away from? Or maybe they decide to go to church to make you happy. Was that what you wanted? When God says to be set apart, he did not mean, live as holy as possible. Do not be unequally yoked. It only invites spirits into your life that you do not need. Trust God and be patient. His plan will be better than what you prayed for. When someone special enters your life, don't KT them go, no matter the circumstance. You know it's in God's will for you when you could spend hours with them and not get bored and it just feels right. God put them in your life on purpose. That's a divine connection. It's hard to come by. And if God is making you wait a little while, that means he is doing something extraordinary. He will make it happen in his perfect timing. Trust him. He knows what is doing. When God sends you the man you are called to be with, you will know. This man will speak to not your flesh, but your spirit. You will experience something with him that you have never experienced before. He will love you in ways that other men didn't. Wait. It will be so worth it when you meet him. Type 1111 if you are ready. Your heavenly father holds your future husband in the palm of his sovereign hands. God is able to lead him to you when the appointed time comes. You are deeply embedded in the heart of the Lord. As his precious daughter, he is passionately devoted to provide the very best for you in perfect alignment with his time. The timing and the seasons are divinely orchestrated by him. In this season of waiting, he wants you to lean on him, to wholeheartedly trust that he is able to provide for you in miraculous ways. Daughter of God, your heavenly Father would not withhold anything good from you. He loves you. He comprehends the desires of your heart, and he longs to see you blossom beautifully within his plan. Your husband will come into your life when the time is right. Trust in God's timing for your journey, for his ways are absolutely perfect, and he desires to see you blessed. For still the vision awaits its appointed time, it hastens to the end it will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it, it will surely come, it will not delay. Trust me when I say that God isn't just making you wait for something to get a kick out of it. He has a perfect plan, and that plan has an appointed time that will spring into action and come to completion for you. I love the book of Habakkuk and how it emphasizes God's timeline. It will surely come, it will not delay. Did you get that? It will surely come, IT will not delay. We can get so stressed out, 
wondering when and how our callings will come together. But the truth is, that doesn't do any good. The key is to simply trust in God's timing for each area of our lives because He will bring every good work in our lives to completion. Type I am open to miracles to affirm. What you're going to find today is groundbreaking. Brief you're battling to take care of bills. Overwhelmed with cash stresses. Also, the following moment. You're drawing in cash like steel to a magnet. What has this daily routine changing effect in individuals' experiences? It's called the Hereditary Abundance Code once you actuate it. Your life won't ever go back from this point onward. You can activate your Hereditary Abundance Code here today. It's ideal to actuate this code now, while this page is still live. Tap the connection in my remarks to actuate your hereditary abundance code. Do you really think that marriage is the time to start living spiritual? No, singleness is the time to develop your walk with God. If I struggle with lust while dating, I will struggle while married. If I am rude while dating, I will be rude when I am married. If I can't budget, and I spend all of my money shopping, I will simply lead my marriage into bankruptcy. Too many people are focused on finding the one instead of becoming the one. If you felt like you've wasted years of your life in the wrong job, hanging around the wrong people, doing the wrong things, God will gather those years and restore them back to you. He'll take those experiences that the enemy meant for your harm and turn them around for your good. He'll make you stronger, wiser and better off than you were before. He can launch you further into your destiny than before. Be encouraged today because with God, all things are possible and nothing is ever wasted. It doesn't matter how good of a woman you are if the man is not for you. You've probably put yourself through pain trying to get him to care, to do better, to help him, and or just be a friend. If he is not the right one, none of these things that you do will make him the right one. You are trying to get someone you want to realize it is you that they deserve. The truth is you deserve joy, love and peace. It's time. God is now strengthening you not only for you but for Him. He is strengthening you for your purpose. He is strengthening you for the one that deserves you. The right one. The real one. There is man that God has prepared for you that will love you from your lowest to your highest. Even through your mistake and his mistakes, you will both experience a love on a higher dimension because you both pray for each other to get there. Let go of the pain love because type. I believe in myself to affirm. As you navigate through the challenges of life, an angel is watching over you, guiding and protecting you every step of the way. Today, this angelic presence has a crucial message for you one that cannot be ignored or dismissed. Your angel is standing before you, radiant with an otherworldly light, urging you to pause and listen. They are not permitting you to skip this message at any cost, for it holds the key to unlocking a brighter future, one filled with hope, joy, and fulfillment. Perhaps you've been feeling lost or uncertain about your path, or maybe you've been neglecting your own needs and desires. Whatever the case, your angel is intervening to set you back on track. This message is a wake-up call, a reminder that you are not alone and that guidance is always available to you. Your angel is urging you to take a step back, reflect on your journey, and realign with your true purpose. By listening to their words, 
you'll gain clarity, confidence, and the courage to pursue your dreams. Type, I am ready to affirm. Your angel's message is not just a warning or a reminder, but a gift of guidance and support. They are offering you a helping hand, a gentle nudge in the right direction. By embracing this message, you'll discover the wisdom and insight you need to overcome obstacles, heal from past wounds, and move forward with renewed purpose. Your angel is not just speaking to you, they are speaking through you, awakening your inner wisdom and intuition. Listen carefully, and you'll hear the whispers of your own heart, guiding you toward a more authentic, meaningful life. So, take a deep breath, quiet your mind, and listen to the words of your angel. What are they telling you? What wisdom, guidance, or encouragement do they offer? As you receive this message, remember that it is not just a passive reception, but a call to action. Your angel is urging you to respond, to take the next step on your journey, and to trust in the divine plan unfolding before you. By listening and responding, you'll not only transform your life, but also become a beacon of hope and inspiration for others. Your angel is not permitting you to skip this message at any cost, for it holds the power to transform your world and the world around you. You can grow up in chaos and become someone who creates peace. You can grow up being hurt and become someone who looks tenderly after the wounds of others. You can grow up being taught to turn bitter from all of the wretched things they did to you and become someone who learns to forgive and move onward and upward and forward. You can grow up around anger and become a gentle spirit. You can grow up surrounded by artificial love and come to know how to recognize real love. Your history does not determine whether or not you have the ability to become a decent human being. In fact, it can spur you on to break the cycle. You have become who you are today because you chose the future over your past. Because you dug through rather than walked around. And because you needed to be the very thing that was absent in your life. Type. I am open to miracles, to affirm. God is sharing with you today. I realize you have been second-guessing yourself recently and contemplating whether you are truly sufficient or adequate to do what I put in your heart to do. This message is here to advise you that you can do everything through Christ. Don't even think about surrendering or let dread work you out of your fantasy. Keep in mind I'm with you and you will succeed. You can do this. Really look at BioConnect to mystery of draw and cash. Connect in remark area. Many of you compromise because everyone else was doing it or to keep that boy girl that you so desperately love and want in your life. If you have to disobey God to keep them, God didn't send them. If you have to sin to get them, you'll stay in sin to keep them. Don't lose yourself trying to maintain something God didn't put you in. God isn't stopping you from being in a relationship you are. God is not going to hand you something while your hands are full and you're comfortable outside of his will. When you allow God to break you of worldly habits and mend you into the man-woman of God that he intends for you to be, then he can freely give you the desires of your heart. Because when you're in his will, your desires are his desires. As of now, God isn't going to hand you every request. He's our father, not our genie. God said to me, I know your every hurt, your every tear and every motive of your heart. 
You and I have walked through this valley and hardship hand in hand. I'm your help, I'm your comforter, I'm your refuge and I'm more than enough. Renew your mind and let me search out your heart. Let me be the gardener of your heart, uprooting the weeds and in their place planting seeds of my love and forgiveness. These seeds will grow and bring you abundant life. I love you, my daughter. I am patient, I am kind, and I am present. Keep your eyes on me, not on your circumstances, not on your losses, and not on the opinions or misunderstandings of others. Lord, I ask that you would be with me today as I begin again to take the path you have directed. Help me to be determined and focused. Help me to persevere and win the day. I know with your help I can do it. When my spirit is pumped up and ready to act, I feel so excited and the world can hardly contain my hopes and possibility. Then, some little setback comes along and I start to doubt, start to wonder if I'm doing the right thing after all. Please be with me when I question myself and keep me clear about the choices I make. Bless all those who seek your affirmation. The time has indeed come, Lord, for your children to win at the missions you have given to each of them. Bless each one. Amen. Does not come from your success. Your light is not ignited by perfection or achievement or body shape. Your light is not fueled by popularity or acceptance, neither is your light at any risk of being put out when other lights around you are bright. Your light is simply made of the Eunice that makes you you. The worries you have in the night, the music which sparks your joy, the books you had to read twice, the memories stored safely in your heart, the people you love, and the people who love you. Your light is never dependent on how you look or how you perform. Take care of yourself. Type yes if you're ready. And share this video with five people who trust God. To support our channel please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.